There are only 19 days until primary day for voters in the 23rd Congressional District here and just nine days left until early voting. The race between Nick Langworthy and Carl Palladino has seen an awful lot of back and forth this year. But tonight, Channel 2's Rob Hackford spoke exclusively with Carl Palladino on the issues that voters really want to know more about. Rob, a rare opportunity. Yeah, indeed, Scott. Uh, we've had this chance uh, very seldom lately, but with no scheduled debate between Nick Langworthy, who has offered to take part, and Carl Palladino, who has turned it down, we've heard a lot more name-calling between the candidates than discussion. Palladino's campaign offered this one-on-one -on -one interview, and we'll be doing the same with Nick Langworthy to ask about those issues. We met Carl Palladino in a conference room of his Ellicott Square building and from guns to America's number one concern, asked about his plans if he makes it to Congress. What is your plan to fight inflation? Cut federal spending drastically. Advocate for, for some sensibility to the money that's being thrown by the Democrats at, at the economy right now. They're not grounded with what's going on in, out here in society and how bad this inflation is affecting people's lives. He blames high gas prices on the Biden administration, citing overreach at the border and in Afghanistan. Palladino also says his first actions in Congress would be... I will move to impeach this president. The second thing I'll do, I'll take away the majority of his powers to, to rule by, by executive order. On gun control, he's against current attempts in Congress to block assault weapons and says the focus should be on mental health. I mean, implied in it is with certain restrictions, reasonable restrictions, okay, you can't, you should be of age, you should be competent to carry a gun and, and whatever. But, but the Second Amendment is very, very clear. The American people have a right to a gun. A gun is a vehicle to be used by a mind to shoot people. Relying on his past business experience, Palladino said he hopes to grow industry and agriculture across his district, retain jobs, and close what he described as a gap in lawmaking. Doing that for on a larger scale for a whole area and, and encouraging businesses to come, you go, you go to the business and you say, tell me your problems. People who have very little knowledge of the problems of running a farm, okay, are, are writing laws and restrictions. But as a wealthy candidate himself, how does Palladino say he is connecting with voters? I, I don't throw my success around at people. People know my success, though, could benefit them if I was in a, in a public office. I, I know you had a bit of a health scare two years ago with COVID. You were in the hospital for a period of time. How are you doing now? I feel great, yeah. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, they caught it at the right time and, uh, you know, they gave me a medication and, you know, all's well. Well, for much more on all of those topics, the full 27-minute interview is going to be posted on our website, WGRZ.com. And as I mentioned, Nick Langworthy will have the same opportunity. In the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.